Welcome to this ICD-11 proposals video. I'm Dr. Islam Ibrahim from the National Center for Health Information, Ministry of Health, Kuwait. In this video, we'll find out what an ICD-11 proposal is, why and when you might need to make a proposal, then how to make that proposal and what happens to your submitted proposal. We'll also take a look at what other users have proposed. So what is an ICD-11 proposal? It's a mechanism that the WHO has developed to allow experts and users to suggest changes to improve ICD-11 from all over the world. Why would you need to make a proposal in the first place? Let's take a look at this example. A patient's procedure was cancelled. You want to find the ICD-11 code for that. As mentioned in our previous videos, we use the coding tool to find ICD-11 codes. In the coding tool, we type in your search term, cancelled procedure, but we get no search results. Hmm, we try flexible search. We look up the resulting terms and we still can't find cancelled procedure. Not only that, but we only find the word procedure. We don't seem to find the word cancelled in any of the search results. So we try looking up the word cancel, just cancel, and still we get no search results. Now we start thinking, well, perhaps the entity is an ICD-11, just like it was an ICD-10, but the phrasing or terminology used doesn't include the synonym or the terms we searched for. To find out whether the entity actually exists in ICD-11, we're going to browse the classification hierarchy, which is found on the left side of the screen. It's like looking up ICD-11 chapters one by one to find what we're looking for. Scrolling down, we reach chapter 24, Factors Influencing Health Status or Contact with Health Services. Now we can see there is a gray arrow right there, and this means that this is a top level item. Under this item, there are children. To see those children, we need to click this arrow. Under that, we see reasons for contact with health services. Well, we presume our entity would be here. Displaying the children under that title, we see interventions not carried out, which is basically procedures canceled. And we can see procedure not carried out because of contraindications, because of patient's decision for reasons of belief, and so on. That means that the entity does exist in ICD-11, but the term or word canceled procedure, which is a very common synonym, does not. So how do we tell WHO to add canceled procedure is a synonym under this entity. Well, we submit an ICD-11 proposal. What other types of changes can we propose? Let's use this ICD-11 entity as an example. If you want to change anything related to this part of the entity, which means you want to edit an existing entity by adding or changing something in a definition or in the synonyms or suggesting other post-coordination options, this is called a content enhancement proposal. You may propose adding a new entity, like add a new disease as a child under an existing entity. Or perhaps you'd like to propose to delete an existing entity. A more complex proposal would be proposing complex hierarchical changes, like changes in the block structure of a chapter. However, these last three types of proposals have become a lot less common now that ICD-11 has become more developed. So how do we make a proposal? To make a proposal, you need to be in the Orange browser. What is the Orange browser? We're all familiar with the Blue browser that we used in previous videos. The Blue browser contains canned codes that were released in May 2021. These codes will not change until next year, when the next ICD-11 update is due. ICD-11 is now being updated once a year. However, the food in these scans or these ICD-11 codes, entities, and the content under these entities is prepared in a kitchen. And this kitchen works every day of the year. This kitchen is the ICD-11 Orange Browser. This is the maintenance platform for ICD-11. It changes on an ongoing basis. That means it's updated every day. Look at the dates. It's the 5th of September. 
And the date of the last update? September 4th. ICD-11 Orange Browser is updated every day with the changes that are made on the browser. So how do I get to the Orange Browser? From the blue browser, click Special Views. From the list, click ICD-11 Maintenance Contributions Proposals. This opens up the Orange Browser. To prepare a proposal, you need to have four things. First, you need to register on the ICD-11 Orange Browser. You also need to determine the entity you want to propose as. Prepare a convincing rationale and prepare references if applicable. These four items together will make sure that you have a proper ICD-11 proposal. Let's go through the three steps for practically making a proposal. The first is to register on the Orange Browser. Once you get to the Orange Browser, click Register. This opens up account registration. This is a very easy and straightforward process. Type in your name and password. Fill in your name, your organization, and declaration of conflict of interest. Next time you open the Orange Browser, log into your account. You can see here that you're signed in. To reach the entity you want to propose at, type in the search box, either the code for that entity or the entity title. We already know them because we found them out on the Blue Browser earlier. This opens up the entity on the ICD-11 Orange Browser. On the right-hand side, we can see the title and the content under the entity, including the description or definition. And in this case, there is no definition. And all the index terms under this entity, which obviously do not include cancel procedure, which we want to add. We can also see the ICD-10 code or the, the equivalent ICD-10 code that we can map this ICD-11 code to. On the left-hand side, we can see where the entity lies in the classification hierarchy. Now we're ready to make our proposal. Click the Proposals tab. From the list, it's the first option, Add Proposals. We can see which entity we're at. We are the right entity because we can see it here highlighted in orange on the left-hand side. And we can see that no one else has made any proposals related to this entity. Remember what we want to do, we want to add a synonym under this entity. This means we're making a content enhancement proposal. So click that. Now we go inside the kitchen where this entity is being made. We can change how the entity is. We can see the title. We can see the description and it's empty. You can add one if you want. And we can see synonyms. What we want to do is add a synonym. So. Right there, we type in our proposed synonym. Once you're done typing your synonym, click Propose New Synonym. ICD-11 says your proposal has been updated successfully. That's great. You have not yet submitted your proposal. You've just updated it. And you can see there in blue your proposed synonym. Well, OK. Now let's add our rationale. Click the book icon. This opens up a text box where you can type in your rationale. Please give convincing evidence for your proposed change and provide references where applicable. Once you're done, you're now ready to submit your proposal. You can always edit or retire your proposal completely if you like. Your proposal has now been successfully submitted. So what will happen to my proposal? Once submitted, a WHO team will review your proposal and supporting evidence to reach a decision. Your submitted proposal may be either implemented or rejected, or there are some decisions in between where your proposal is partly implemented and partly rejected. If your proposal is implemented, as in the case here, where we can see that this proposal was implemented on the 20th of May, it will be part of ICD-11. But for now, it will only be part of the Orange Browser. Hasn't made it yet to the Blue Browser, which was released before you proposed your change and will be part of the next version of the Blue Browser when it is updated next year. You may be curious as to what other users have proposed. To view a list of proposals made by other ICD-11 users worldwide, you can do that on the Orange Browser. Click the Proposals tab 
and from there, select the proposal list. Because the list is really long, the WHO has made this filter to help you select which proposals you want to view. The default is that these proposals are organized chronologically, from the newest to the oldest. If you scroll down, you can view the list. Let's suppose we want to take a look at this proposal. Opening up this proposal shows us that the status is submitted. We can also take a look at the rationale behind it. Once we read it, we can choose to agree or disagree with the rationale, and we can also add a comment by clicking here. We can also view the user info of the user who submitted this proposal. We've now come to the end of this presentation. Thank you for watching.